Lucy, you have some splaining to do. Hi, everybody. This is Roger in Kansas City. And today we're going to take a very interesting trip down memory lane and visit Lucille Ball and her husband at the time, Desi Arnaz. For the people who aren't familiar with these folks, and you may not be from the U.S. or you may be too young, but Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz were married and they were one of the most famous couples ever, especially back in the 50s and 60s. They had a great TV show, one of the most famous TV shows ever called I Love Lucy. It was a sitcom about Lucille Ball and her husband, Ricky. They were Ricky and Lucy. And all the funny antics that took place. You can Google it. All right. So Ricky and Lucy were also a very powerful Hollywood couple. They owned a huge production company and studio in Culver City, California called Desilu Studios. They made even more famous shows like, oh, like Mission Impossible, Andy Griffith, Gomer Pyle, Hogan's Heroes. Oh, and on many Hogan's Heroes episodes, which were filmed around the studio, you can see this very water tower in many episodes. So look out for that. And also, uh, this is just because I watch a lot, of, a lot of Hogan's Heroes. If you really watch it, you can see palm trees in the background. And that's, that's a German prisoner of war camp. Okay, so what I'm trying to stress here is Ricky and Lucy were very successful, famous, and powerful. And they would send out Christmas cards, probably to people who were less successful, less powerful, and less famous than they. This picture is from a Christmas card they sent out in 1953. It was probably taken in one of their studios because you can see studio stuff there in the background. And here's Ricky, I'm sorry, Desi and Lucy, because his, his name on the show was Ricky, but her name was Lucy. Anyway, it's Desi and Lucy in this picture. And Desi is looking at Lucy Lucy is looking at Desi, and there's just your average, totally normal Christmas tree, just a Christmas tree, and there's a chair, and there's some presents, and they're just being, you know, spirited and joyful during the holiday season. Now, there is something a little strange about this Christmas tree, and a few other things in the picture, and this will be the focus for this video. We're not going to look at anything else other than the Christmas tree, and a few things uh, around the Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and get started looking at the Christmas tree. Here we go. I almost forgot something. I want you to make special note, take notice of Lucy kneeling. That's going to figure prominently. Now let's take a closer look at the Christmas tree. So here we are taking a little bit of a closer look at the Christmas tree. However, this is not a Christmas tree. This is a little disturbing because it's one of those things that you thought you knew, you you trusted people, and, and well, I'll just show you what's going on here. But let me preface, this is not a Christmas tree. This might be part of a tree, but if you look up here, this looks like Christmas tree limbs. All through here, all through here, all through here. And we'll, we'll get to this. But starting about right here, I think you can see it, the tree stops. And this is some sort of solid piece that has either design work, artwork, but it's meant to blend in with the tree. But there aren't Christmas tree limbs and boughs and needles. No. Let's take a another look at this tree. Now I have zoomed in a little more closely and I have colorized the area down here that's the solid piece as opposed to the non-solid piece. There's like a, a piece of a tree up here. I don't know if there's a, a complete tree behind this solid piece or this is just a, a prop. But there's a lot going on. Let's look over here first what Lucy is kneeling next to. I've never seen a Christmas tree like that. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we have it. 
this is just the beginning of, of uh, there's a lot. And I'm, when I say there's a lot, I'm not talking just about this video. There's, it's, how do I put this? It's everywhere. It's, I would say if it's not in 100% of all TV shows, it's in 97% but it's everywhere and i i've known this for a long time but i didn't know how how deep it went and i just can't believe that this person i, I kind of adored my entire life that i just think is one of the funniest people who's ever been in existence is in cahoots with this this is not wholesome. This is this is everything opposite of good. Um, and everything their studio puts out, I can guarantee you, it's this it's all the same stuff. What is it? Well, I think it's some sort of ungodly, un non truthful. How do I put this? satanic type of worship is no god I, I hope the ai doesn't get me on this but um i i usually kind of edit the ums and ahs out quite a bit but i want you to hear my angst on this this is disturbing this is very disturbing because this has been an everything and we see this sub subliminally and how does it affect us i'm not quite sure and i'll get into that in, an, in another video but we see this at some subconscious level or they wouldn't put it there there is the off chance that they just have to show this to i guess to avoid some sort of karmic retro retribution that oh yeah they could see it they just didn't look hard enough that type of thing but no, this is some type of deity, or or it, they're they're displaying this in tribute to these entities, and there's a lot of these entities. Let's take another. I got a few more shots of this, and we'll move on. Now here he is again. I've adjusted the color on this. It brings out more detail. Like I, I refer to this as bronzing and bronzing often brings out a lot of detail you can't normally see in black and white pictures so here he is um, okay there he is but we can also see a lot of figures around this guy and my, my question is are, are these real or are they just little ornaments they're not Christmas tree ornaments but there's some sort of, again, representation of something that means something to somebody somewhere. And uh, so we have character here, character here. We see this, that, that looks almost like a little dog hopping up on somebody. But we see these kind of alien looking guys up here. And there, there's a lot to this. So I think you can see him pretty well. Again, please leave me your comments on this guy. I, I have one more colorized version of this because I, I am going to harp on this for a little bit. And I colorized this photo just to help people who may not see what I'm talking about. Especially newer viewers, they do have some difficulty. I do love hearing after like people will say you know after i've watched these for a while i finally saw what you were talking about and that that means a lot to me because it does take a while to it to understand what you're looking at and how to look for this stuff but it's there so i didn't colorize every last thing in this picture but i just pointed out a few different things to help people out but that's our main guy and that's the guy that lucille ball is kneeling in front of saying that that thing's a Christmas tree, which is not a Christmas tree, and I, and I haven't said this yet, but it's, uh, it's, it's a damned abomination is what, what I consider it to be, that they would do this to a Christmas tree. 
and I'll tell you, she's not the only one who does this to Christmas trees. There's a lot of these in different shows. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Okay, let's look at some more pictures of the, the, uh, the, the, the devil tree. Here we go. So now I've zoomed out. And now that you kind of have the lay of the land, here's our little guy. These, this is not like little popcorn strands or streamers. That They're some sort of serpentine entity. We have all types of enti uh, in entities, figures, whatever you want to call it, throughout this picture. You see this little guy here? He's very common. And when I say very common, you see this individual a lot in all of these pictures. Uh, you don't see them on a lot of Christmas trees. You don't see them on a lot of Lucille Ball Christmas trees. That's, that's I'm pretty sure that's the case. Again, there's our guy here. This is very out of the ordinary. And I this really has kind of caught me off guard. Moving on. Now, this guy here, he's right next to Desi. This is Desi's bathrobe right here. And you see this, it looks like a beard at first. It's not a beard. And I've seen this exact same thing in another photo from Hoover Dam of all places. But I kind of think it's some sort of restraint device because it's cover covering the mouth area also. And now I'm not sure if I'm right on this, but is this some sort of chain or restraint here? And, and again, this is just my interpretation. I could be totally wrong. I These things are hard to read because they're conglomerates. You have pictures on top of pictures on top of pictures. So you have to really try to see through all of this. Uh, I have one colorized version of this real quick. And here it is again. It just has some color to it. But this is the main thing we're looking at. You know, is that a collar? When I say a collar, like, like a dog collar? Or is he a priest? I, I don't know. But it's a very peculiar picture. You don't see these every day, that's for sure. Moving on. This is towards the upper portion of the tree. And you can easily see we have a character here and a character here. We have this elongated looking guy here. And here's the picture with a little color added to it. And this is towards the upper portion of the tree where there are actual limbs. But we have, this almost looks like a, like a cat yawning, but I could be wrong. But you see this, oh, kind of devilish looking guy here. We have that guy. That's part of the artificial tree where it's connected together. And, oh, we have this right here. Again, there are some traditional ornaments in here. But that's for deception's sake. Before I get into this, let me tell you something that happens now and then. I'll do a really good description of a photograph. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, that's going to be really good. And I go to save it. And then I see that, oh, I never recorded it in the first place. So here... <laughs> Here we go again. This is a particularly good photo of the solid portion that I'm talking about. You can you can see this like a carving or it's it's different panels put together or like a molded piece of plastic. I, I don't see there's that guy right there, but it looks like he's more a part of this molding and maybe he's not just a, a separate entity. I hope he's not for real, but I do think he represents something real. But you can see we have these figures here, here, and through here. That's our yawning cat. That's that devil guy up there. Here's our strange garland. Anyway, you can look at these pictures for hours on end. Speaking of hours on end, I don't want this video to last for hours on end. 
it's been technically challenging and I have a whole lot of pictures uh, off of this one photograph but I I think I'll save some for another time I think you got the idea you got the gist of it it really makes me reconsider a lot of what I've been told about everything <laughs> it really does this is disheartening but in, in another way it's not surprising so before we say goodbye to Lucy and Desi let's take one more look at the scene here and you just can't not see it now I think it sticks out like a sore thumb and this is an untouched up picture there there I haven't done anything to, to this so once you know where it is it's plainly easy to see you know you see this gaze between the two. I don't think that's adoration or love. I think that's what they call duping delight, where they're 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 just thrilled that they're getting one over on everybody, uh, that they're smarter than everybody, that uh, they they've pulled the wool over our eyes, and they did a good job at it. And there's the happy couple. Well, you two, you pulled it off for almost 70 years. I hope you're happy. And uh, tell me, well, what does selling your soul really get you? I mean, other than like a short-term gain, uh, unless I, I'm missing something here. But I, I don't think I can ever watch a, a Lucy show again, honestly, without knowing that I'm being indoctrinated with something. Well, there you are, folks. I hope you're having a nice day. And I hope... Desi and Lucy are also having a, a nice day wherever they are. Maybe, maybe they're not. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Roger in Kansas City, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye bye. Oh.